passport, headphones, wallet, glasses, lip balm. I'll separate all my liquids and I'll put them all in here. Everybody's looking at you, it's terrible. I pulled my back so badly. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. In this channel, I talk about life with a chronic illness spin. Today, I wanna share with you what I'll be bringing with me in my travel bag to a trip to Brazil. I will be leaving in three days and I'm going to be gone for 10 days. I will be visiting family and hopefully getting a little bit of a break from the winter here in Canada. I will organize my bag with several small pouches and little bags that are gonna go in my backpack. So the plan is to bring a suitcase carry-on, a backpack, and I'll have one of those fanny packs that I'm going to be wearing across my chest. My first tip is to actually separate your liquids from everything else. When you go through security, there is a maximum amount of liquids that you can take, and that is one liter with a maximum of 100 milliliters individual bottles. They want to make sure that you're not carrying more than you're supposed to. So if you have a lot of like liquids in different bags and spread throughout your bag, most likely they will stop you and they make you take everything out and they are going to give you a little bag and make sure that you can fit everything in. And that is just very disruptive. It takes more time and holds up the, the line. It, everybody's looking at you. It's terrible. So what I do is I put everything in a bag that has at least a clear front or a completely clear clear bag and that way that is uh, the perfect size I actually measured against the little bag that they give you the plastic bag they give you and everything that fit in there fits in here so I know that this will pass their standard and so I'll separate all my liquids and I'll put them all in here I am bringing a couple of sample shampoos and conditioners. I will most likely buy shampoo there because I'm going to be gone for 10 days and I don't think I can bring enough for 10 days. We'll just take up extra space. So I usually keep those samples to throw it in there. It will carry me for a couple of days so I don't actually have to go and buy something right away. So hopefully I will be able to close this. I will take this out of my bag and I'll put it on a separate tray. That way they'll know what I have and most likely they will not bother me. I will also be bringing a book. This book was recommended to me by my daughter. She just finished reading, so um, I will be bringing this one. Of course, I'm bringing a water bottle. Keeping hydrated is very important for me. Of course, this is going to be empty as I go through security, but as soon as I get onto the other side, there's usually water fountains that you can fill up or you can buy water and put it in your water bottle. Over here is the most important small bag that I'll be carrying in my backpack. It says first aid. It, it's my first aid. <laughs> it has my EpiPen, my Benadryl, um, some allergy drops, discongestant, a lot of stuff for allergies. Uh, I have a puke bag. Not that I get sick in the airplanes. I don't usually get sick, but if I have a very bad migraine or if I'm having an allergic reaction, usually the first thing that happens is me getting sick. So I usually carry that with me. I have some flushable wipes here. It's always good to have. This little pill box has all my medications. Because I'm only gonna be gone for 10 days, I was actually able to fit everything in here. However, I am bringing for more than 10 days. I'm bringing for roughly about two weeks because you never wanna bring the exact amount that you need because if something happens and flights get canceled or delayed and you end up staying longer, and there's medications that you absolutely need, then that becomes a problem. So I always have extra ones in here. Some gum, uh, painkillers, migraine medication. In this little container here, I have everything that I will need to take the night off that I'm traveling. So this is actually going to go on my fanny pack because I will need for sure and it will just be easy access. And if you're stuck like in one of those middle seats where you cannot even move, um, you know, grabbing your backpack from under the seat and kind of rummaging through it and trying to find it, it's actually very disruptive. So what I know for sure I'm gonna need, I'm going to keep it over there. So this is another pouch that's going to go with my backpack. 
I don't bring a ton of makeup because I don't wear a lot of makeup. This is a powder sunscreen. And then basically I have a little bit of foundation, a little bit of concealer, some powder, eyebrow powder. I don't know what that's called. It's just a little palette for eyebrow. A couple of brushes. And then I have a highlighter. Uh, this is a liquid uh, blush. One lipstick. One lip balm that is tinted. Lip liner. Uh, eyeliner. And this is... Uh, what is this called? It goes on the top of your eyelid. Uh, shadow eyeshadow like a pencil eyeshadow i think that's what this is called a eyebrow gel tweezers eyelash brush and this is pretty much it it goes in here in here this is already packed but i'll just kind of show you more or less what's in here i have some hair ties and clips i have some jewelry in another pill box. This is the perfect size for necklaces and then rings and earrings in here. Have a little box with soap, mini hairbrush, mini razor, small deodorant, makeup remover, panty liners, compact mirror, Q-tips and uh, makeup remover pads. So these are all dry things. So this, I do not need to take it out of my bag when I'm going through security. Now, the heaviest. This is the hardest thing to pack, make sure that it's protected. It's all my electronics. So let us uh, let me show you exactly what I'm bringing to make those videos for you. This is a white noise machine and this is just an extension cord so i will only bring one or two of those adapters uh, for the brazilian uh, power outlets and then i will plug this in and that gives me three sources and then three usb a power bank that will be going in my backpack all of this is audio equipment these are all batteries battery charger SD cards, adapters, cords, and the GoPro. I also have my laptop and the external hard drive. Now to packing the fanny pack that I'm going to have on me. Here I'll have all the things that I'll need uh, often during the trip. So I will have my wallet here. I'll have my travel documents. I have two travel documents. I have a Brazilian passport and a Dutch passport. The reason why I bring both is because I will get into Brazil with the Brazilian passport. It's just a lot easier, no bureaucracy, no visas, nothing. But I will have to use my Dutch passport to come back into Canada because my immigration in Canada is tied up to this passport. So I've got to make sure that I always have both and that will go in this outer zippered part and it stays against my body so there is no way that this can be taken out unless this bag is taken from me uh, a mask i will have extra masks in the backpack so that i can change throughout the trip earphones i have the regular jack as well as the one for iphone sunglasses a lip balm my phone getting full in here but still fits and that pill box that i said contains all the medications that i will need to take that night uh during the flight it is a night flight the flight leaves i think it's around 10 o'clock so I'll have this handy here. Let's hope it closes. Oh yeah, it's a little foo, but no problem. And then this will just go like that. This here is a, I'm actually not gonna get it out. I'll show you, I'll insert an image if I can. It's a sling for your foot. 
so that you can hang it from the tray and you can put your feet up. And that is super important for me because my legs get super swollen. I sometimes get upgraded to business class, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, especially with Air Canada, they have the individual pods. You lay completely flat. My feet are up and not a problem at all. I have room to move from one side to the other. It's not guaranteed. So I'm always ready for traveling coach and the one of the most important things for me is like one keeping hydrated and second making sure that my feet are up i'll also be wearing compression stockings so that will help with my blood circulation and then i bring a pillow uh, so that i can rest my neck otherwise i wake up with a lot of pain on my neck and back and those hard knots and it's awful and i don't want to start my trip feeling crappy i always get very cold in planes so i bring this scarf blanket reading glasses and glasses for far that are not my uh, sunglasses and this is just an extra uh, carry bag in case i end up buying snacks or something that needs to be carried and i have this extra bag here that's a little bit more sturdy than the plastic bags they give you my heating pad and a massage too and this is absolutely vital for me to travel with. This is a, a one that I had to buy specifically for trips where it's 220 voltage because here in Canada it's 110, so my regular pad doesn't work. So I bought this extra one, which I take. I always make sure to check what the voltage is to the place that I'm traveling to make sure I bring the right one. And then this little massaging too to spare my poor husband's hands because I'm always in so much pain when I travel, especially if I travel coach and I can't move. I can't be in one position for too long. It absolutely kills me. Any pressure, anything for more than a few minutes, it gives me a lot of pain. And so I have to move a lot. And depending where I am in the plane, if you're like in between two people, if it's full the flight and I can't move at all, I will be in so much pain. So I know my husband will be massaging me and that absolutely saves his hands. Time to make the magic happen, which is to make sure that all of this fits in that backpack. Over here, I have my AirPods, a block charger, and an extra charging table. So here it is, it's heavy, but I won't be carrying it on my bag. That's gonna go on top of the suitcase carry-on. This will go on my body like so. And the heating pad, I'm actually going to put it in the carry-on suitcase because I won't be able to use it on the plane anyways because it requires a regular household plug. This will also go in the suitcase because there's nothing here that I will need during the flight. So this is it for my travel bag. I am super excited for this trip. I haven't been back in Brazil for two and a half years because of the pandemic. Usually I go at least once a year, if not a couple of times a year. So I'm super excited about seeing family and friends and also getting away from this awful Canadian winter that seems to be dragging on forever. It's already April and it's still cold. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me grow my channel. And I hope to see you again next week. I'll be coming with the Brazil vlog.